I'd like to talk to you about something that's really been bothering me lately. It's kind of been on my mind. Uh, since January, we've been talking and studying the book of James in the Wednesday night Bible study. And as we came to chapter two, we find James talking about faith. He says, uh, this is in verse 17. He says, so also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. For as the body apart from the spirit is dead, so also faith apart from works is dead. So we concluded, based upon what James says, that, that there is a kind of faith that's not really true faith. It's not saving faith. It's just an intellectual faith. It's just a, uh, a dead faith. And it kind of lines up what Paul says in Ephesians when he says that we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. I kind of look at it like this. Faith is like a seed. And when we truly repent of our sins and we trust Jesus into our heart, God plants within us a seed that sprouts. And this seed is this new life in Christ. It's this new creation he talks about in, in Corinthians. And as this seed sprouts, it is going to produce the fruit of the Spirit. It's going to produce Christ's like character. It's going, to, it's going to produce good works. But then there's something else. Jesus warns us in Matthew that not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. In other words, Jesus warns us that not everyone who says they're a Christian is going to be saved. He says, only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not cast out demons in your name? Did we not do mighty works in your name? And then I'll declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. In other words, Jesus is telling us and warning us that many people who think they are saved because of what they do for Jesus are not. Notice they do these things actually in Jesus' name. It says that they prophesied in his name, that they cast out demons in his name, and it even says that, that they did mighty works in the name of Jesus. And yet Jesus tells them, I never knew you. In other words, they're not saved. Do you see the problem here? On one side, we have Paul who clearly says that for by grace are you saved through faith, and this is not of works or your own doing. It's the gift of God not a result of works, so that no one can boast or may boast. But then James comes along and says, Show me your faith apart from your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. So faith apart from works is dead. Huh. So not only do we have people thinking they are saved because of what they do for Jesus, there's another group of people who think they're saved by their faith. But James says that it's not true faith. It's dead faith. And dead faith cannot save you either. So I, I, I ponder that. And I realize, you know, both of these groups, don't, they're not going to go to heaven. They're both thinking they're saved because one thinks they're saved because of the things they're doing for Jesus. The other group thinks they're saved because of their faith, whatever that is. How can you know for sure? How can you know for sure that you're not falling into either one of these groups. I think it's fair to say these people are going to be shocked when they die and they discover that Jesus never knew them. Now, I have great news. There is a way that we can know that we have eternal life. In fact, God instructed the Apostle John to write a little letter called the letter of 1 John. And it says, and as John kind of ends his letter, this is what he says. He says, listen, I've written this letter to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know, <laughs> hallelujah, that you may know that you have eternal life. So this Sunday, March 7th, I'm planning to show you how you can know with absolute certainty that you're saved and you're going to go to heaven. I hope to see you then.